So this video explains uh, for the bathymetry team um, how the Sonar processing hardware and software team <clears throat> uh, processes their raw data uh, and eventually gives us that those waveforms for us to um, turn into the bathymetry files. Um, the file that I'm showing you right now is the original file that I gave the Sonar team to be able to both filter and convolve their raw signals from the receivers um, to best match what uh, the ne needs of the bathymetry team are. Um, <clears throat> to explain a little further, I created a, a bit of a flow diagram to show what exactly is happening. Um, so now the Sonar processing team has three receivers from which they get a binary audio file from each of them. Um, that those binary f audio files are passed through a bandpass filter of a, a width and they have already determined uh, in the ADC read process two file. I'll tell you more about where that pro file is a little later. Um, so once it's uh, filtered through, it is then convolved with the original ping that the hardware is sending out um, uh, so that the receivers actually read in. The reason for this convol convolution is uh, to get rid of all the extra static and noise outside of the actual um, pings that we care about. Finally, once this conv convolution happens, uh, they output these uh, waveforms as a dot .wav file um, <clears throat> from which the bathymetry team can actually use it. Uh, to see samples of these output wave files, go to the um, link at the bottom of this video. I've also placed this link in the bathymetry outline uh, Google Doc on the XPRIZE Google Drive. Um, also in that box is uh, all the files that they use for the filtering and convolution um, with the same name as I've explained above.